all right welcome back so today will be a little different as some of you might have already know i have been trying out helix a new model based editor similar to vim or new vim okay, but it's one of the latest kits on the block and this is why i'm learning helix all right so right now we are in helix and this is the color team that i am currently using yeah okay so one of the main reasons why i want to learn helix is because it forces me right to be less dependent on the mouse yeah so for example in a gui editor say vs code visual studio code you can click on maybe different parts of your code and navigate to that yeah so for helix it I would say it forces you to be less dependent on your mouse yeah because to move up or down the cursor uh, you can use hjkl so h for left which is what we're doing here j for down k for up and l for right yeah so hjkl yeah of course you can still use your arrow keys okay but with your right hand uh, on HJKL, uh, it's much faster. So for example, say in Helix here, if we want to search for say the word name, yeah, in say for example VS Code in, on Mac, uh, we have to say, we have to press Command F and then we can start searching for name. So we have to type Command F and then N A m e so that's six keys okay in helix all i have to do is press my slash key which is right next to my shift key so slash you can see all the way to the left the search appears right so that's one key instead of two keys press yeah and then i can say name enter yeah you can see see that all the way to the top left corner your name is highlighted and then to navigate to the next name i can press n for next or p oops my bad right or p for previous so next or p uh is it p see i'm still learning man yeah so basically you can navigate navigate through all the found names yeah Okay, so what if you want to say change or modify the names or the name to person, say for example. Right, so in Helix, we can do Shift 5, which is for typing percentage to select all the text in the current buffer, yeah, or the currently open file. And if we press S and say you want to search for name, right enter yeah so if i scroll down here notice something okay now we have one two three four five six seven cursors yeah which are all currently highlighting the word name and if we want to change them we can press c okay notice now we have seven cursors and we can say person yeah so notice how easy and how fast uh, it can be yeah, so this is also one of the other main reasons why I'm learning Helix. Yeah, it's because I want to try and see if it will make me a faster and more productive uh, engineer or programmer or developer. Yeah, right. And of course, to undo what we just did, yeah, just press U. Yeah, U for undo. Yeah, or Shift U to redo. Yeah, so it's that simple. Yeah. All right. And if we want to remove all the cursors to change it back to only one cursor, you can press the comma key and we're back to one cursor. Yeah. All right. Another thing that I really like about Helix, right, from trying out Helix so far is the buffer list. All right. So basically, Helix has a few modes and we can go into the space mode by pressing the space key. Okay, you might not be able to see this, but on above me, uh, there's a open file picker for 
that you can open up by pressing small f. All right, let's show you that again. Space mode, space key, and then F to open the file picker. And we can easily navigate through the current files in the current directory. Yeah, and in any subfolders as well. So we can do, say, DB, for example, to search through the files. Right, so one thing I really like about this file finder is as you notice as how I navigate up and down the various files here, yeah, we can get a preview of the code right here in Helix. Yeah, so I'll say that is very, very handy. Yeah, it's something I really like about Helix. Yeah. Alright, so that's another file open. So for example, in space mode, another reason why I really like Helix is the buffer list. So we can say space and B, right? And this will show us the currently open buffers. Okay, but if you are coming from say VS Code, you can think of them as the currently open files. Yeah. So we can easily navigate through all the files we have here. Yeah. So for example, in main.rs, yeah or person yeah so you can see how fast i can navigate throughout the currently open files that we have and another big reason why i really like helix is because it is written in rust yeah and because i've actually tried it out in work uh, on a big project and it is still as fast yeah it is still blazing fast yeah so I'm quite surprised by the performance because I actually compared it to opening the same project using VS Code and it was kind of sluggish for VS Code as compared to Helix. Yeah. Okay, but those are the main reasons why I really, really like Helix. But to be fair, right, Helix does currently have some disadvantages. For example, in VS Code, I can easily right maybe write a code snippet for this so that i don't have to constantly write say the implementation for this person struck in rust okay but in helix right now there's no official support for code snippets yeah so that is something that i, I am really really missing from vs code yeah and another thing missing from Helix is the plugins ecosystem. Yeah, as Helix is still relatively new, yeah, as compared to Vim, new Vim and VS Code, yeah, there isn't really a plugins system in it yet for now. Yeah, but hopefully that will change and I am quite excited to look forward to it. But yeah, really that's about it. Yeah, that's about why I want to try out Helix to see if I can become a better, uh, faster and more efficient developer. Yeah, or programmer or engineer just by changing up and trying out new things. And here we are trying out Helix. All right, so... Hopefully that was helpful. Okay, I am still learning it as there are some key bindings I'm still trying to get used to. Okay, but hopefully we will get better at it. Yeah, so let us know in the comments below what is your favorite editor as well. And if you are trying out Helix, what tips will you share with everyone? Yeah, and as always, stay awesome and stay safe. Cheers, man. Do 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 do